GNR Elements Vector Construction. To set up your vector construction project, click on the Building and Engineering tab within the Project Configurator. To get started, drag and drop the Elements Vector Construct icon onto the drop area. Open the Configurator for the Vector Construction Service by double-clicking the icon. Provide the name and the biosafety level of your construct. If you want to use a template as a starting point, instead of creating your vector from scratch, choose one of the five available templates. These templates are built on commonly used cloning or expression vectors. You can review relevant template information in the information box that appears once a specific template has been chosen. Moving on to the Edit tab. The chosen template will appear within the construction pane, broken down to its genetic elements. You can review the information provided for each element within the Information pane. Scrolling within the Information pane will allow you to review the sequence and references, as well as the intellectual property information found for the respective parts. You can also review the sequence for the whole construct by switching to the Full Construct Sequence tab within the Information pane. The sequence of the element selected in the Construction pane will be highlighted within the sequence. Hovering over the elements within the construction pane will also give you some information on the respective element. Within the construction pane, you also have the option to switch the direction of an element by clicking on the Reverse Complement button. Elements can also be deleted from the construct by clicking on the Delete button. If you want to add additional elements, you may make use of our Parts Repository. Parts within the repository are organized into three families, Coding Sequences, or CDS, construction, and regulation. Clicking on the plus symbol opens up the respective part family. Clicking on the plus symbol beside each category opens the category and shows all available parts within each category. Clicking on a part makes relevant part information appear within the information pane. You can introduce a repository part into the construct by dragging and dropping the part from the repository. You can also introduce your own parts into the repository by using the empty part templates within the repository. Dragging and dropping an empty part template onto the construction pane allows you to fill in the specifications of your part within the information pane. Now your custom element is part of the construct. Your part is now part of your private repository and may be used for future vector constructions. Switching to the Summary tab, gives you a graphical display of the vector you constructed. You can also review the vector sequence directly or download a .gb file.